Hello and welcome, I am the Soul Enchantress and I'd like to speak with you today about when things don't go your way and the energetics behind that, when a plan doesn't come together as you wanted it to, when um, you created a goal or an intention and the result is something very different to what you wanted it to be. So it could be related to your money, your business or your life. And it may be that you decided to invest in your business and you've done some advertising and um, some publicity work or the fact that you decided to create a blog or a podcast and somehow things are just not going the way you expected or wanted. What I want to bring to your attention is that it's not necessarily the intention, it's not necessarily what you did or what you didn't do, it's not whether the advertising worked, the publicity didn't work, or the fact that your blog flopped or your podcast hasn't got the views it wanted or the downloads, it's got nothing to do with the actual vehicle or the medium or the intention. It has everything to do with the energy with which you created that intention. So, for example, if you decided that you wanted to um, create an ad or get some media attention or you wrote a blog article or you created a podcast episode because you wanted a specific result. So say, let's speak about a business and a money um, objective so it just makes it easy. Okay, so your goal is to increase your revenue, to make more money and therefore you created um, an article or a podcast episode or placed an ad or decided to get some media attention on it. And what happens is... Um, I just thought I would focus more on this beautiful flower. And so what happens is, it depends on the energy and the space that you were occupying energetically when you decided to make that intention and when you actually decided to take that step, that action. So here's what I'm trying to get to. If you decided that you wanted to place an ad, but it was because you wanted to increase your revenue, make more money, then your energy is actually coming from a place of lack of revenue, not enough revenue, not enough money, needing more money, wanting more money, and have to do something to make more money. Now instead, so when you actually then place that ad or that article or that podcast episode or try to um, get new clients through maybe some kind of a, a media exposure and then you don't get the result you want because the ad flops, the media attention doesn't get you what you thought it would, the article nobody reads it and the podcast episode no one really listens to it. But let's change it. How about if you actually came from a place of that you were making lots of money, you were actually generating record revenues, and now you decide, what do I want to do? Do I want to place an ad? Do I want to get media retention? Do I want to write an article? Do I want to create a blog? Um, sorry, to um, create a podcast episode? But more than likely, if you are generating record revenues all the time, you're making so much money and your clients are super happy with you, you're not going to want to go and raise revenue because you already have revenue coming in and you may want to elevate to the next level of revenue. But your question is not going to be, and your energy is not going to be coming from the space of, I don't have enough money, I need to raise revenue, I need to make more money. 
I need to make more revenue, I need to get more clients in, but you're going to come from a space of wealth. My revenue is coming in, my money flow is amazing, and my clients are super happy. What can I do to benefit my clients even more? And then you will come up with ideas and you might go, actually, I don't really wish to place that ad. Neither do I want to get any publicity for this. But I think I might let my clients know about the fact that they really need to pay attention to what energy is the basis and the foundation for them to be making their decisions from. Ha! Huh. And then, when you put that piece of information out, those who are meant to be the ones that are going to bring you that extra revenue, create that extra money flow for you, and are going to benefit from whatever it is that you have to offer, will automatically be attracted to that message and it will resonate with them. So you see, there was no manipulation. There was no lack energy. It was you coming from a space of, I have more than enough. I have all that I want, but how can I add more value? And the person who adds value to the world is the person who receives the greatest reward. So I hope this has been helpful. And as always, I would love to see you at soulenchantress.com and make sure you have subscribed to the Soul Enchantress magazine and that you have a copy of my book. Joyous blessings.